Folks, I am here to do a unboxing and a review and an in-use video for Solo Stove. And I have with me, I've not pulled it out of the box yet, the Solo Stove Campfire, which is one of the larger units. And I uh, got in the mail, and I'm going to do something different. I'm going to attempt to cook a shore lunch because I think for anglers, this could be useful. I don't have to worry about building a fire ring. I don't have to worry about bringing a big grill. I'm hoping to do everything I need to off of this guy. So here it is. Comes in the great canvas container, just like the previous models. And there it is. It's as easy as that to set up. Now let's put this in perspective because I do have the solo stove light. And in this particular case, I've got the pot that comes with it. So you can see this one is well used. So again, canvas container, put that off to the side. Just so you can get an idea or the perspective on the difference in the size of these two units. You see this one's well used. We're going to be using both of these today, but on this one, I'm going to try and cook up some fresh pipe. So, what I've got is the start of my pile of kindling, and I've got some more, and I put some in some, basically just some paper towel in here. Just over to my right here, I've actually got the uh, the mini going right now, the, the solo stove light. We're just boiling water in that, but this is the fire that we're going to cook up the, the pike with. So we're just going to see, I just got myself a little match here, a little waterproof match. So we're going to light this guy up in a few spots. And then the hope is, with some uh, some good luck and some good hot fire, in a little while I'm going to be able to get a fire going up big enough. I'm going to put a fry pan on with some oil and we're going to show you how to cook some fish, some shore lunch, using the solo stove camp. Alright, so fire is going. Didn't take more than a, like 30 seconds to get it going. I'm putting on the dry fuel. If you can see inside, you can see the gasification. So we're getting that secondary burn, which we hope is going to create a nice hot fire. Because this is actually a cool day. We're uh, only about 10 degrees Celsius when it hits its high today, and we're not there yet. Fry pan's here though. Fry pan's going on. Next is some oil and some fish. So here we are. We're hoping that this fire is hot enough. I got fresh fish. We just caught it this morning. We just cleaned it on the shore. We're going to lay it in here. And there you can see it just sizzling in the way. Folks, finished product. Fresh walleye, or sorry, fresh northern pike. Uh, cooked with a bit of Cajun on the solo stove, over a fry pan, on the shore. I'm up near uh, Point of Barrow Station in northern Ontario. No fire ring, no grate. All we used was a solo stove, a frying pan, and the deadfall wood that we found all around here. If you are someone that likes to go out fishing and you want to do a shore lunch, have a look at this one. This is the solo stove campfire. Mm -hmm. 